Hi there, so the Svelte team has been pushing up a bunch of new Svelte features and bug fixes, which is great, so we're up to 3.29 already. In 3.28, they added a new uh, block directive, which is pretty cool. It is called key, and what it does is remounts whatever is inside the block whenever the variable that I specify right here changes. So I'm going to just say counter, and we're going to have counter equals zero, and we're going to have a button to increase the counter. And whenever this button increases, we want to have a little transition. Okay, so counter plus plus. So I'm going to import fade from svelte slash transition. And then right here, we're going to have a paragraph, which is just the counter. Okay. Cool, so right now if I click the button, it just goes up like that. So I click. Okay, but if I want it to animate, then I'm going to say in fade. I click, and you'll see that it has this little fade in. Can you see that? Boop, 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 boop. Fade in whenever it changes. So before this wasn't possible, um, basically what you'd have to do is kind of have like a show variable, and then whenever some reactive statement for whenever this change, you would like toggle an if to remount this. That's what I would do. Uh, but now you can just say key counter and it will remount this whenever this changes. Cool, so you could also, so this works for transitions. I think that was the main idea is that you can have a transitions trigger uh, when this happens. And you know, it could be for a different variable. Like I could have, you know, just when counter changes and this just says hi, even though it has nothing to do with the counter, just click. See, it'll still remount when counter changes. Um, another thing you could do is have an action on it, something like that, and then um, whenever this remounts, the action will run. Okay, so for example, I made this little game here. Uh, I guess you can call it a game. Attack, so whenever you click it, it goes somewhere random, and it does a little transition on here. Boop, like that. Okay, so what I did was I have if health equals zero. Okay, that doesn't really matter. Uh, else key health and key health. So both of these are if key changes. So if key changes, I'm going to remount this button and it's going to recall this action, which just changes the position. Okay, and then same here, I have, I'm using the, using it for this transition capability. So whenever health changes, it will fly in this little tiny 200 second bounce out X5 uh, animation, boop. So it just does a little shake. Don't know if that's the best way to do it, but that's what I did. Okay, so that is the key directive. What's it called? Key uh, block directive uh, templating language syntax thing. And let me know if you have more uses for it. This is what I can think of. Um, it'll also trigger like on mount, of course. But um, yep, that is the key. And please like and subscribe. Goodbye.